skills. The skills I look at the uh, the midges. <laughs> Sorry, the midges are absolutely mental up here. Really, really bad. Got no midge. No midge prey. No insect net. Got to bring them. We're not going to get many photographs tonight. Basically, this is not. The sky's pretty poor. The lights. A quick look. The lights very poor. It's a lovely view. However, there's nothing there to photograph. The sky's heavy, heavy clouds. We get a bit of colour, very small bit of colour and that was it. Again it's a beautiful view, there's lovely mountains, some nice clouds on the top of the mountains, we've got a nice valley, lovely reflections, town that's uh, lighting up now, there's a road down there, so there's a valley coming from, a valley coming down there, which is a nice one, there's a lovely slate mine down below, some steps going down there, uh, which takes you right down to the bottom. Over there, there are some ledges down to uh, a chasm, got very close to the edge. And look down, uh, you can actually go camping further down the way, but we decided to come further up uh, because there's not really no, not much down there. It's a great site for wild camping. Brilliant site for wild camping. There's a lot of history here from the slate mines. Uh, so the, the footstep, the footpath leads you right down, right down there. There's lots of yeah. In fact, you can see, yeah, you can, this is where the uh, retaining wall's gone. A few signs down there. That's where the retaining walls obviously collapsed. And I'm stood in it, so I think I'll, I think I'll move. Just got my pot of noodle on. Got my mini chocolate chip cookies. Bottle of Coke, water, chocolate biscuits, all the good stuff. It's a bit of good meat. We've not had the weather, but that's a shame. It's been a very busy couple of months for me. Um, obviously, I've eight or nine days in Iceland. I had 10 days in the Iceland trip was with for photography friends to southern Scotland, to Loch Lomond and Northumbria with Jack and Isabel. In um, between, I've been to Spurn Point with Lynn, been to Bamford Edge with Lynn. Uh, I've just come up from the lakes for two days by myself. I've got this one and uh, I think I've done another one or two as well so it's been a absolutely hectic two months and I'm tired but it's been it's been great I've learned a lot about photography yeah there might be some hmm yeah there's quite a lot of roads going in and out but not much traffic so yeah no car trails Shame. Anyway, I'm going to get something to eat. I'm going to get a coffee, some chocolate, and uh, yeah, most of the night. I'm going to go down there tomorrow. Let's try some reflections. There's a nice oh, bell going off. There's a nice building just there. Looks like an old, that's an old building. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Heading off home, Sunday, back to work on Monday after two and a half weeks off work. Be interesting. Anyway, got the lakes in a couple of weeks, five weeks. And they're planning for a few more family trips and a few more TP and friend meets. Anyway, I'm rambling again. See ya.